well, now I'm going to change gears mm. because I'm going to get back to the fact that you like Mega 64 yeah, at some point. Yeah, we need point. to keep talking about let's, it. Let's go. Keep talking right. about it. And uh, I'm assuming that means that you play video games or have, or at least at some point had a nerdy side to your personality. Still do. Never stop. Is that prevalent in the wrestling community? Are there a lot of wrestlers that have a video game background, comic book background, nerdy background, or are you kind of in the minority with that? Shocking amount. <laughs> there are so many. I was so surprised. Because oh, we've done, not just in the New Japan locker room, um, I've done tours with Ring of Honor and um, been to a, a handful of other promotions locker room. And everywhere, wrestlers just fucking love Mortal Kombat. It doesn't matter if they love video games. They just all do. So it's easy for me to talk about Mortal Kombat's my shit. Like, my earliest memories as a human being are my dad handing me an unplugged Super Nintendo controller. And he sits behind me playing through Mortal Kombat 3 as Kung Lao, destroying Shao Kahn. And I think I'm the fucking man when I'm just fucking spitting on the controller thinking <laughs> I'm playing. I love what uh, Mortal Kombat. And it's... Uh, seen so many people share love for for video games and things that i grew up in things that i might have shied away from talking about before because in wrestling you're like i don't want this person to think i'm a dork or think i'm a nerd right but to not having to worry about that fucking everybody loves it and some people are like yeah, i don't really play too much but you're like oh you never played anything but like oh growing up i played mario a little bit a little bit of mario kart and you're like ah there you go there's some common ground everybody's played something i'm not worried about it anymore but yeah video games are tight man <laughs> That's cool. I was uh, talking before this interview, and it just must be a generational thing because who amongst our age like didn't grow up with video games? Yeah, it's true. For sure. Yeah, you hear stories of the old guard, and then people want to emulate the old guard because they didn't really have video games back then. And the people that are still around are like, ah, what the fuck are you kids doing? Back in my day, we play video games. But um, yeah, people don't really do that. <laughs> I, I thought that for sure what it would be like. Uh, kind of poo-pooed or frowned upon. But yeah, like you're saying, it's totally a generational thing. And uh, I think coming up, that's not going to be really an issue or something that people ever have to worry about being afraid to be like, yeah, I was a fucking dork, man. <laughs> By just the definition of the word, I'm still pretty tight, but I also play video games. I think that's nerdy, but um, yeah. I, 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 I'm, I, I have encyclopedic knowledge of Mortal Kombat lore, the most useless fucking thing a human <laughs> being can take up space in their brain with. But man... I love that shit. What did you think of the Mortal I'm Kombat there. movie? Did you see it? The new one? Yeah. Fuck that movie. <laughs> I can't believe. I can't believe I had to wait 21 years Mortal Kombat Annihilation to get 24 years, excuse me, 97 to 2021. And that's the movie that we got. And no offense if you enjoyed it. Hey, man, flavors of ice cream. You like it. You enjoy it. I fucking hate that movie. <laughs> I'm glad we like, yeah. around the office. Everyone here was like, "Oh, wasn't, wasn't that bad?" And, and me and Derek were like, uh, "Do we watch the same movie?" Had, I, I like the original Mortal Kombat <laughs> movie better than uh, this original one. Mortal Kombat. It's awesome, man. I even like Annihilation just for like, oh, sick. That's Motaro. I like Motaro. Oh, sick. Jax has metal arms. Oh, Cyrax is here. Tight. Love that shit. If not for anything else, then I love seeing my characters on the screen. And in the newest one, there was less of that. And I like how uh, the opening scene, the first seven minutes, the backstory of Sub Zero and Scorpion, that was awesome. And I like how they gave that away for free on YouTube a month beforehand. Like, oh, if you like the first seven minutes, you're going to like the rest of the movie. They just gave away the best part for free, hoping people would buy tickets. I just wish it was more of that, but it wasn't. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to try to be too negative. Well, <laughs> fuck that movie. <laughs> nice. Yeah, that old bait and switch. You know, here's one yeah. badass fight. The rest of the movie is not going to be like this, but you don't know so that you already bought the ticket. I would never team up with Kano. Not in a million fucking years. <laughs> not my Sonya, man. You're, you're proving your street cred yeah. as a true Mortal Kombat fan. Oh, for sure, man. Uh, <laughs> I can talk another... How, long, how much time you got? I can go on. We can, can go on. Go. If they ever asked you to be in a Mortal Kombat <laughs> movie, are you there? I'm there no matter what. I don't care what role, man. Whatever they want me to do, they want me to be a, 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 just a disembodied head on, on a spike in, in the pit. That's cool with me, man. They want me to be a character? Better. But that's the thing in wrestling. Uh, everybody wants to be fucking Johnny Cage. 
So I, I'd go for any role besides Johnny Cage. Okay. All right. Yeah. What's up with Johnny Cage? I guess because he's like the Hollywood. Yeah. He's like a bad throb. boy. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's a, he's a great character. I love Johnny Cage, but no one else can do Johnny Cage besides The Miz at this point. He's just the guy. Anybody, and a lot of people are trying to be the Johnny Cage in wrestling. They're just wasting their time. <laughs> <laughs> 